Good day everyone, this is Teacher Cherry. In this video, we will learn about the sum of finite or infinite geometric sequence. We will determine the sum of finite or infinite geometric sequence. What is the difference between finite sequence and infinite sequence? Let's know the difference. Finite geometric sequence is a geometric sequence which has definite number of terms, while infinite geometric sequence is a geometric sequence with infinite number of terms usually denoted by ellipses at the end of the sequence. Let's see the difference between the two. Let us have examples of finite geometric sequence and infinite geometric sequence. For finite geometric sequence, we have 4, 12, 36, 108. While in the in infinite, we have 4, 12, 36, 108, and so on. Ano ang nakikita nyong pagkakaiba? Sa finite geometric sequence, bilang lang natin kung ano yung mga terms. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. Sa infinite geometric sequence, we have 3 dots at the end of the sequence. It means that meron pang kasunod dito. So, hindi natin alam kung saan siya nagtatapos. Like, for example, number 2. We have negative 32, 16, negative 8, 4. While in the infinite, we have negative 32, 16, negative 8, 4, and then the ellipsis. So, kapag may nakita kayong ellipsis sa dulo ng sequence, it means that it is infinite geometric sequence. While kung walang ellipsis sa dulo ng sequence, it is a finite geometric sequence. Tignan natin itong pangatlong example. We have 2, 4, 8. And then ellipsis, then 128. While in the infinite geometric sequence, we have 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, and then ellipsis. So, meron tayong ellipsis dito, but hindi sa end ng sequence. Nasa pagitan siya ng terms. It means that meron pang terms na kasama dito. So, like, for example, we have 16 and 32. So, hindi na ilagay yung 16 and 32 but nandito yung ellipsis. While in the infinite geometric sequence, yung ellipsis natin ay nasa end ng sequence. So, tandaan, kapag finite geometric sequence, meron tayong definite number of terms. Kaya nating bilangin yung terms. While in the infinite geometric sequence, meron tayong ellipsis at the end of the sequence. Ibig sabihin, continuous pa yung ating sequence. Let us have the sum of finite geometric sequence. Paano ba makukuha yung sum ng finite geometric sequence? To find the sum, use the following formula. If R or common ratio is not equal to 1, use the formula S sub n equals A sub 1 times R raised to n minus 1 all over R minus 1. Or, S, S sub n equals A sub 1 times 1 minus R raised to n all over 1 minus R. If R equals 1, use the formula S sub n equals n times a sub 1. If r equals negative 1, and if n is even, use the formula s sub n equals 0. If r equals negative 1, and if n is odd, use the formula s sub n equals a sub 1. Let us have examples. Let us have first example. What is the sum of the geometric sequence 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7? Para makuha natin yung sum, kunin muna natin yung common ratio. So, we have a sub 2 over a sub 1. We have r equals 7 over 7. That is equal to 1. 
So, since ang common ratio natin is 1, gagamitin natin yung formula na S sub N equals N times A sub 1. What is N? N is the number of terms. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 number of terms and then A sub 1 is 7. So, we have S sub N equals N times A sub 1. Our number of terms is 8 and then the first term is 7. Multiply 8 and 7, the product is 56. Therefore, the sum of the geometric sequence is 56. Let us have the second example. What is the sum of 10, negative 10, 10, negative 10, 10, negative 10? Ang una nating step is to find the common ratio. The common ratio is negative 10 over 10 or that is equal to negative 1. Since ang common ratio natin is negative 1, identify natin kung yung number of terms is even or odd. Let's count the number of terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Our number of terms is 6. Therefore, if our common ratio is negative 1 and our number of terms or n is even, ang gagamitin nating formula is S sub n equals 0. Therefore, Ang sum ng ating geometric sequence is 0. Let's check. 10 plus negative 10 is 0. 10 plus negative 10 is 0. 10 plus negative 10 is 0. Therefore, the sum is 0. Let us have example 3. What is the sum of negative 9, 9, negative 9, 9, negative 9, 9, negative 9? Let's find the common ratio. We have second term which is 9 and then first term which is negative 9. 9 over negative 9 is equal to negative 1. What is the number of terms? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Our number of terms is 7. Our case here is common ratio is negative 1 and, num and the number of terms is 7. Therefore... If R equals negative 1 and N is odd, then the formula that will be used is S sub N equals A sub 1. What is our A sub 1? A sub 1 is negative 9. Therefore, our S sub N equals A sub 1 is negative 9. The sum of the geometric sequence is negative 9. Let's check. Negative 9 plus 9 is 0. Negative 9 plus 9 is 0. Negative 9 plus 9 is 0. And then, ang naiwan is negative 9. Ganun lang kadali kumuha ng sum. Let us have the next example. Find the sum of the geometric sequence 2, 6, 18, 54, 162. First, Let's get the common ratio. So, let's get A sub 2 over A sub 1, 6 over 2, which is equal to 3. So, our common ratio is not equal to 1. If our common ratio is not equal to 1, then ang gagamitin nating formula is S sub N equals A sub 1 times R raised to N minus 1 all over R minus 1. So, this is our formula. The next step is to substitute A sub 1 and then R and then N and R. So, our A sub 1 is 2. So, we have 2. Our R common ratio is 3. And then, we have number of terms 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, raised to 5 minus 1 all over our common ratio is 3, so we have 3 minus 1. And then, we have 2 times 3 raised to 5 is equal to 243. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And then, minus 1, all over 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. Then, 
we have 2 times 243 minus 1 is 242 all over 2. So, we have 2 in the numerator, 2 in the denominator. So, maka-cancel. Ang may iwan is 242. Therefore, the sum of the geometric sequence is 242. Let's proceed to the sum of infinite geometric sequence. Para makuha yung sum, use the formula sum to infinity equals a sub 1 over 1 minus r. The sum of infinite geometric sequence exists only when the common ratio is greater than negative 1 but less than 1. Nag-exist lamang ang sum ng infinite geometric sequence kung ang ratio ay nasa pagitan ng greater than negative 1 or but less than 1. Let's have an activity. Tell whether the sum exists in the following infinite geometric series. Number 1. 2, 8, 16, 32, and so on. Paano natin malalaman kung ang sum ay nag -e exist Dapat ang common ratio ay greater than negative 1 and less than 1. So, kukunin natin ang common ratio. We have 8 divided by 2. The common ratio is positive 4. So, 4 yung nakuha nating common ratio greater than 1 siya, ibig sabihin, walang nag -e exist na sum. So, our answer is, the sum does not exist. Number 2, we have 2, 1, 1 half, and 1 fourth. Para ma-determine kung nag -e exist kukunin natin yung common ratio. We have 1 over 2, the common ratio is 1 half. Is 1 half greater than negative 1? And less than 1? Yes. So, ibig sabihin, the sum exists. Makukuha natin yung sum ng geometric sequence na ito. Number 3. 1, negative 1 half. 1 fourth, negative 1 eighth. Is the sum exist? Let's get the common ratio. Negative 1 half over 1 is equal to negative 1 half. Ang negative 1 half ba less than ng negative 1 but greater than 1? Yes. So, therefore, the sum exists. Number 4. 3, 9, 27, 81, and so on. nag -e exist kaya ang sum nito? Let's get the common ratio. 9 over 3, that is equal to, 9 over 3 is equal to, positive 3. Is 3 greater than negative 1 and less than 1? No. Ang 3 is greater than 1. Therefore, the sum does not exist. Hindi natin makukuha ang sum ng geometric sequence na ito. Okay. Tandaan para makuha or nag-exist yung sum, dapat ang common ratio ay greater than negative 1 and less than 1. Kapag greater than 1, hindi nag -e exist ang ating ratio. Let us have examples involving sum of infinite geometric sequence. Number 1, find the sum of the geometric sequence 2, 1, 1 half, 1 fourth, and so on. So, una, kukunin muna natin yung common ratio. Ang common ratio natin is 1 over 2. And then, gagamitin natin ang formula na sum to infinity equals a sub 1 over 1 minus r. Sa substitute lang natin yung value ng a sub 1 at saka r. Ang a sub 1 natin is 2. And then, 1 minus ang common ratio natin is 1 half. Then, perform the operation. 2 over 1 minus 1 half is equal to 1 half. And then, 2 times 2. Bakit naging 2 times 2? 2. Then, kukunin natin yung reciprocal ng 1 half which is 2. And then, pagmumultiplyin natin. 
2 times 2 is equal to 4. Therefore, yung sum ng geometric sequence na ito is 4. Let's have another example. Find the sum. Find the sum of the geometric sequence 1, negative 1 half, 1 fourth, negative 1 eighth, and so on. Let's first find the common ratio. Negative 1 half over 1 is equal to negative 1 half. And then, let's use the formula sum to infinity equals a sub 1 over 1 minus r. Substitute a sub 1 at saka the value of a sub 1 and r. Our a sub 1 is 1 and then our common ratio is negative 1 half. So, we have 1 over 1 minus negative 1 half. 1 minus negative 1 half is equal to 1 plus 1 half. Paano nangyari yun? Negative times negative 1 half is equal to positive 1 half. Then, let's add 1 and 1 half. So, we have 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 all over 2. Then, 1 over 2 plus 1 is 3 and then over 2. Since meron tayong denominator na fraction, i-multiply natin and then kukunin natin ang kanyang reciprocal. So we have 1 times yung reciprocal ng 3 over 2 is 2 over 3. 1 times 2 third is equal to 2 thirds. Therefore, the sum of the geometric sequence 1, negative 1 half, 1 fourth, negative 1 eighth, and so on is equal to 2 thirds. Okay, that's the end of our tutorial. Before I end this video, I would like to share a simple quotation. If there is no struggle, there is no progress. That is from Frederick Douglass. Thank you so much. Keep safe and have a great day.